Hi, my name is Tony, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make one of these. Give me that. Get out of here. Fucking hell. Hi, my name is Tony and I'm gonna teach you how to make one of these. This is one of my oldest designs for a very simple round bag. Okay, I basically kept the same size, um, improved the design a little bit and uh, obviously made a video. I also decided that I'm gonna add a different design. Uh, you know, it's the same build process, but uh, a more kind of, kind of, square shape on the side so this is the round one this is the almost round one and i have to, i gotta say i gotta say i love it this has become my uh, newest bag to keep all all of my smoke pipe accessories all of them hang on one sec don't go anywhere Look, now I can put everything inside with room to spare. So I, I love this design. I love it. Look, look how many things I can put inside this tiny little bag. I can put this big ass jar full of tobacco. Boom, no problem. I can put all the pipes I own, okay? I can put a couple of lighters. I can put a pack of filters, some cleaning materials, and there's still room inside. All right, beautiful. Now, you note this stitching line here is because while I was making it, I decided I don't want any, any straps. Okay, so don't do what I do. If you, if you want to have this uh, to be used on, I don't know, carry your supplies or whatever, whatever you, and you don't need the straps, don't do the straps, easy. Now, if you do like to have the straps, if you wear, if you, if you wear this, um, this like a little purse or something, go ahead and do the straps. Now, if you wanna wear it over your shoulder, you can also attach a strap on each side, right? And just wear it on your, on your shoulder. This bag, these two designs here have so many uses. So it can be attached to a bike, can be attached to a bicycle. Initially, I made it for somebody who wanted to carry big, heavy steel balls. They use, uh, in, in France, they, they play this, they throw around these balls called boulet. I hope I'm, I'm saying that right. And uh, initially, this was used exactly for that. So, if you play boule, carry your bags in style, you get there, everybody, wow! I want uh, one just like that, huh? Can you make me a bag like this? So, there you have it. A bag that can hold many things, a bag that can be useful in a lot of situations, and um, it is a very easy build very simple design and um, the way the sides are attached to the main body allows for a very easy way to stitch this part okay there is no getting your hands inside and not being able to to no all this all the stitching is done on the outside anyway i'm not giving this away I'm not giving this away. I may very well give this away, but not this one. This I keep for myself. All my smoking accessories are in there. With room to spare. So if I convinced you need this bag in your life, stay with me and I'll show you how to make one. Peace.
Now that you have the files on your computer, you have to open and print them. I recommend using Adobe Reader. This is software that's free to use, that's what I use. You cannot open and uh, print them using editing software like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw or other software that can change the pattern itself. Also, our patterns are not compatible with laser cutters of any sort. There is one setting you need to have checked when printing the pattern. Please keep actual size or print at 100% is the same thing. The page size is A4. However, you can go ahead and choose letter or you can choose a legal size, which are more popular in the US. The first page will contain a sizing diagram. There are two squares. Make sure when you print, the square is five or two inches in size. So go ahead, use a ruler, make sure the size is right. When you print the patterns, you need to cut them um, along the dotted line, okay? The one that has scissors. It's very important, very important, when you put them together, both of those scissor sides match up. After we got all the patterns printed, we paste them together. And then we cut them out of the leather. You don't need to cut precisely on the black lines at this stage. Get all the pieces out of, um, out of these pages. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you next how to use these paper pieces to cut your leather. Now choose the right leather for your project and then place the paper patterns on top of the leather. Use some masking tape to hold every piece flat, completely flat on the leather. At this stage, you're ready to go ahead and punch the holes. Make sure you get all the holes. Don't miss any because it'll avoid uh, a lot of frustration later. So after you've punched all the holes, you can go ahead and cut the leather pieces out. You have to cut precisely on the black lines. Make sure the blade that you're using, whatever blade that is, is at the right angle, 90 degrees. At this stage, you should have every piece needed to finish your design. Now that we have everything we need, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put them all together, okay? So you should have this large piece that will be the main body of the bag, um, the flap that gets stitched into place like that, all right, um, then the handles, the handles will also get stitched in like this, okay, uh, we're gonna have the, the sides, the ends. And uh, we're gonna attach a round D ring strap, see? We will have the, the strap that will keep this bag closed here. And um, these two narrow gussets that will give us that uh, beautiful look I was talking about earlier. So let's count. two four, six, eight, ten, eleven pieces of leather, two 20 millimeter D-rings, okay, this is the, the D-ring, okay, and a Sam Brown button, five millimeters. Before we start stitching anything, I'm gonna try and wet shape this piece into 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 the shape I don't want to say I'm gonna wet shape it in shape but um, that's exactly what we're gonna do next I'm gonna apply some water on the on the side and then just with our fingers we're gonna try and bend this to a 90 degrees um, angle and we're gonna go ahead and rub some water on the side like that. Okay. This will work with um, vegetable tan leather, some oil, 
leather, some pull up, some mostly vegetable tan leather. Okay. And what we're gonna do now, as soon as I dry my hand on my pants, uh, we're gonna we're gonna bend this inwards. All right. So like that. See. And uh, just run a few times till the, the water starts to dry up a little bit. And once it does, if you use vegetable tanned leather, it will hold its shape. And um, we want that. We want it to be sort of like a small saucer, right? Like a plate.
right, so we finished the three main pieces that will um, will make the bag. That's obviously the body and um, both sides. All right, so two of these, one of this. That's all you need. That's all you need. What we're gonna do next is uh, start with attaching this little bit here. Okay, we're gonna do that actually on both sides so it's easier to to work okay and then after we do that we're gonna insert this piece which will fit in here like a glove all right and uh, basically we have one stitch here one on the other side and uh, we're all done easy build so let's get to it Thank you. 